welcome to At Home today. We're so glad you could join us. It just wouldn't be the same if you weren't on the other side of that camera. It would not be the same without you. We're so glad that you take the time to drop by our home. And today we have a really special guest who's going to be making some special dishes for you to think about preparing for your family. The pie crust is front and center because she's using pie crust in everything that she prepares as a main dish and also as a dessert. Her name is Cynthia Bowen and she is a freelance journalist and uh, a columnist. I think you're going to enjoy meeting this lady. She's quite interesting. Let me read a couple of letters that I get. I tell you all the time that I really enjoy this and I do. This one says, Hi Arlene, I really enjoy and look forward to watching you on Wednesday evenings after church. In the Pittsburgh area, we're seen on Wednesday evening. We're seen here uh, at 10 o'clock. So this is what she's talking about. She says, I've told others, and now they are watching also. Your show gives me courage to cook for others as well as my family. All I have made, they love. Your love flows out to others. Thanks for being there. Love you, Martha. And uh, I appreciate those comments. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you feel that uh, love that's coming from us because we really do care about your family, right? The second one comes from Vineland, New Jersey, and her name's Barbara, and she says, Dear Arlene, I so enjoy your program. You are like a good friend that I visit with on Wednesday nights. This is my first request for a recipe, but it won't be my last. Thanks so much. And just like Barbara, many of you are requesting the recipes now that we've put them in a newsletter. And we're having good success with that. And your comments are important to us. So please let us know how you feel about it. And uh, everything we've heard so far is positive. I'm sure there's some things that we can do to make it better. And we're working, striving toward that. But we're going to be meeting Cynthia Bowen in just a minute. So stay tuned. We'll be right back to get started. Here's today's at-home hint. Try stirring some halved red grapes, miniature marshmallows, and chopped pecans into your favorite coleslaw recipe. It makes the salad a real treat. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, we're back, and I'd like to introduce you to Cynthia Bowen. Nice to have you here with us today. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I have uh, seen some of your articles in the local papers here mm -hmm. in the Pittsburgh area. And how long have you been writing? I've been writing now nine years. Nine years. Um, I have a cooking column through Gateway Press. And I also do what they call Oak Notes, which is just a little community happening. So I've done ah. that for a couple of years for Gateway. And uh, now I write also freelance articles, feature articles for the Post-Gazette. Post-Gazette, which is our daily paper here in the Pittsburgh area. Well, that's interesting. And uh, when we contacted you, you had an idea what you'd like to present. Yes. And you're going to do quiche today. Yes. Is I'm that right? Do, I'm going to do a quiche first. OK. And uh, this quiche it, it is very, okay, very I'm easy. I'm going to move this off because I hear this butter getting uh, too, well, too hot here. I like refrigerated pie dough or pre-made so. pie dough. This. I can do French pastry, I can do candy, I can do a lot of things, but pie dough is something I don't do well. <laughs> okay. So I, I found so it to be a blessing. So you know your limitations and yes. you say, why press the issue? That's I'm right. One the, and you know, these are really flaky, these little, these ones that you get already this, made up. They are wonderful. Fine. They really, really are. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to use one of those. Okay. And before I get into that, I'm going to saute. For this quiche, I'm going to use a quarter pound of mushrooms, fresh okay. mushrooms. Um, the nice thing about making quiche is that you can do anything with it. Mm -hmm. um, your basis, of course, is eggs, cheese, milk or cream, milk or cream and then vegetables, meat, whatever you want. Yeah, um, because you can put uh, broccoli or, or uh, ham or sausage, about anything in a mm -hmm. quiche. Now, let's talk about this, Cynthia. They say that real men don't eat quiche. Is that true? In my house, they do. Do they? Yes. Yeah, we like it. I mean, Paul eats it. I have brothers. They, you know, everybody I know eats it. The nice thing is, too, you can prepare it to a point ahead of time and have it ready. Um, like if you're coming home from early church service mm -hmm. or you need to go somewhere in a hurry one evening, um, 
you can have it ready in the refrigerator and just put it in the oven, serve it with a green salad, some nice mm -hmm. French bread, and you have a wonderful meal. And I think this is a, a nice luncheon, mm -hmm. or this is uh, something that can be a, a nice breakfast even, like a yes. brunch type thing. Yes, exactly. And uh, why not, right? That's right. I like, I like things like this if I'm having some ladies to my house, or if I'm uh, having an aunt or somebody over that I haven't seen for a while. Mm -hmm. And because I know people think that you have really worked hard to prepare this, yes. don't they? <laughs> I do a lot of cooking like that. Uh -huh. um, I do a lot of, a lot of desserts that way. Um, it just makes things now, a lot simpler. I think simpler. it's interesting. She turned her crust over to fold it over. I always turn mine under. Well, but that's nice because that I makes a little like decoration this. there for you. This is. I have to tell you jokingly, this is called my plastic surgeon crust. Oh, is that what it is? Yes, because I'm doing nipping and tucking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it repairs very easily, and too. And it does. That's, that's another right. good part. So now the mushrooms are browning. They're browning. Uh, we have about a quarter pound, as I said, in a couple of tablespoons of butter. butter. All right. And I use butter. Um, yeah, you can't substitute butter, can you? No, you can't. <laughs> the flavor. Not and the flavor. That's frankly. Right. You can't get margarine anymore. It, it almost doesn't exist. There's a lot of water in margarine now, isn't there? You can't cook with it. Mm -hmm. um, it affects the cha it, it, it changes the whole uh, your dough, your batter, anything you make with it because it adds so much moisture to it. They spread too. A yeah. lot of I've had a lot of complaints. Well, not complaints, but I've had people write me and say, "What's wrong with my cookies? Why are they spreading?" Mm -hmm. And it's That's usually the reason, huh? it's usually one of two things. It's either they're using margarine which is, it's now called spread, mm -hmm. by the way. Right. Or they're using uh, sugar that is not good sugar. Mm. It may say pure sugar, but if it isn't pure cane, you can forget ah, it. Ah, okay. What would they add to it if it was not pure cane sugar then? They put beet sugar. Sometimes they Some put cornstarch. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. There are some powdered sugars on the market that have cornstarch in them. Wow. All right, now I think it's interesting. You only use two eggs for the whole pie. Yes. Could you use egg beaters if you wanted to? You could use egg beaters. Okay, so that would help with the cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Of course, with the cheese and the fried butter and all mm -hmm. this. Yes. But sometimes every little bit helps, right? That's right. So okay. we have that, and I'll, I'll just take care of this. Okay. And then I have about a cup and a half of shredded Swiss cheese. Swiss. And that's another thing. Swiss. Sometimes um, Swiss cheese, if it isn't natural, it will separate. Mm. So you need to watch the kind of Swiss cheese. What's that? And this is a quarter cup of Romano cheese. Romano, okay. I prefer... You like that flavor, huh? I like Romano to Parmesan. That start, with us, that started um, with our second son, Mark David, who's now 25. We noticed that any time he ate anything with Parmesan, he broke out. Oh. And, I mean, so you can't little, have spaghetti no, sauce right. without... So we started Romano cheese. He didn't have a problem with it, and we liked the flavor better. Good. Okay, so now we have the, are they almost there? Because we have about three more minutes in this yeah. segment. I think they could probably even be drained now if okay. you'd like you to, do to do that, that for me. You? All right. And then what I'm going to do while you do that, I'm going to put a portion of um, the cheese in the pie shell. Okay. I'm now, you want these well drained, all the butter off? Them? As much as you can. Okay. And then I have about a tablespoon of flour. Okay. That should be mixed with the cheese, too. That's more to thicken. We'll just put a little bit of the cheese in. You can layer this. Another thing, a lot of recipes that I've, that I've made in the past were for the small pie shells, and now mm -hmm. all of a sudden everybody's making large. Large ones, sure. So you have to Do add. Do I just put this Just on? put that right in. You mean just uh, sprinkle? That's it. Okay, there we are. Now you could, at this time, you could add um, onions. You could add... Like we said, the ham. It's good for leftovers. Hmm. If you want to yeah, do if you that. Had just a, if you had a little bit of something that you really didn't have enough to feed everybody with, right? right? And it, it's an extender, if you want all to call right. it that. And that's now. all you do is top it. Oh, and now, now you we take, pour the egg. Now we take the beaten egg and the cream mm. and simply pour it over. Wow. It doesn't almost doesn't look like it would be enough, but it no, will, huh? It will. You can add another egg to this. You can add a little bit more cream, and it won't upset the won't balance. It, yeah. If you were baking something, you, of course, wouldn't do things like that because you wouldn't want to upset the fat right. and flour ratio. That's right. But with this, 
it's okay. Yeah. You can do like that. Now that needs to go on. That needs to go in. Do at, I need to put um, that on a tray? No, this this can go, well, I I'll tell to. you what, yeah. it could be. Because It'd be easier the, to hold, huh? Because yes. they're kind of wobbly. And then that goes in at 400 degrees. In a preheated in a pre oven, right? preheated oven for All about right. 35 minutes. 35 minutes, okay. And, um, we're going to keep a track on that. Or until a knife inserted in the center will come out clean. Clean, okay. So that's our quiche. And uh, it's going to bake just 35 minutes in a preheated oven. And when we come back, she's going to do some dessert pies. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home, and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Well, the quiche is in the oven, and now Cynthia Bowen, who is our special guest today, is going to make us a dessert pie, and it's called a raspberry what? Cheesecake pie. Oh, yes. Raspberry cheesecake pie. Yes. Okay. And for this, we start with 16 ounces, two blocks of cream Which cheese. Is a pound, really, a right? A pound of cream cheese. All right. Have you ever made this with the low fat or the no fat? Um, not with low fat. No. <laughs> I know. You know, you know what you fight about that? You fight, well, gee, I'm going to all this trouble. I want to make it good. I do with some things. And I, use, I try to justify, like, using light Cool Whip, mm -hmm. which works. Sure. But I, um, I have some allergies, and I can't eat aspartamine or NutraSweet. Oh, yeah. So I have to watch. Okay. And I, now I'm adding about a teaspoon, teaspoon of, of vanilla. clear vanilla. Okay. This, um, you can get, there are different brands. Mm -hmm. But the nice thing about using clear is that it doesn't show. It doesn't, doesn't turn. Whatever you're trying to do. That's sure. right. Okay. So we'll just. Okay. And you're just going to cream that I'm together. I'm just going to cream that. What do we need now? And I'm going to get my Some eggs. eggs. Okay. We need two eggs. It's basically like a cheesecake. Now. Okay. When Here's... I first got a res got this recipe, it had a cooked chocolate frosting on it. It was. A lot more complicated. Uh -huh. I so prefer you just to make things easier. Make it, make it easy. Make keep it simple, huh? That's it. Okay. Watch, this baby will grab this. Uh, <laughs> you might want to um, scrape down the sides because that's, for some reason that's this is is yeah nice and heavy. Now, okay. is this going to be cooked or baked or anything? This is going to be baked. This is baked also. This, and uh, we're going to put in the sugar. How much sugar? Okay, we cup? have a half cup of sugar here. Oh, half cup. Okay. And, um, now, you can make this, okay, I Careful, see what you yeah. mean. Yes, it is powerful. Uh -huh. You can make this um, as it is, and then you can take and fold your, your raspberries in, or you can do what my girls like. My girls like the color. Oh. They don't like to see the little lumps of straw of uh, berries all the way through it. So you just so add them I in just there simply and let them blend, huh? that's all I do, yeah. and it gives it a beautiful pink color. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it tastes good sure. no matter what oh, you yeah. do. It's more evenly distributed throughout the whole. Uh, yes, and the seeds aren't that bad unless you have now, a problem. Now, what kind of a crust are you going to use for this one? Now, this one we're going to use um, one of the pre-made chocolate pie crusts. Chocolate with raspberry. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, and the finishing right. touches are the good part, too. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you, um, do I pull this? Can I help I'm you? Not use, I'm All not right, used to yours you here. here. We'll just go up with it. I'm going to clean that off there like that. Is that okay. good? That's good. All right. Cynthia, how long have you been cooking? And when did um, you get an interest in it? When I got married. When you got married? It was preservation. Ten years so ago, right? Oh, I wish. No, <laughs> no I got married uh, 30 years ago. 30 years. Okay. It, we'll celebrate our 31st this year. That's wonderful. Meryl was in, in uh, uh, optometry school. I see. And we moved to Chicago, and I wasn't near my mother or anybody else. Chicago? We're seeing in Chicago. You probably uh, have friends and maybe some family there, huh? No. No family? Um, just no. friends? Huh? Meryl, Meryl just chose to go to school there. Ah. Now I have friends and I have uh, relatives in South Carolina, Georgia. Well, they're probably Pennsylvania, watching. California. They see us everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. Now we just turn that, twist that. Oh. You got it. This is nice. <laughs> Modern technology, right? I'll, t I'll take one of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we simply pour this mixture into the pie. Look at that. The chocolate pie. So they can get a good look at that. Okay. 
and then we bake this at 325, again for about 30 minutes, and then refrigerate yeah. it. And it has to have about um, four hours to refrigerate. A real chill, huh? That's it. That's all there is to it. That's all there is okay, to it. Okay, now, and when do you decorate? You don't decorate I'm, or anything? When it's cold. When it's cold. Before we serve. All right, so this goes in for how long now? That'll go in again for about 35 minutes. Preheated oven. And okay. preheated. And it. I did save a few of the raspberries for the garnish. Okay, good. So we'll do that. All right, so that's our raspberry cheesecake, cheesecake pie. pie. Okay. The next one is a little different because I've never heard, when I got your recipe for this, when I was amazed at what you're going to be, what you called this and what you're going to be putting into this. This is okay. called what? This is called California pie. California pie. It's evidently because of the yogurt, I guess. Ah. And the origin for this one, we're going to use this is a butter crust, but hmm. you could use a graham cracker. Now these are all you these buy these in the supermarket. You don't have to do anything with them. No. They're already in there. They're not a flaky no. crust. They're more like a cookie crust this, kinda. This is more of uh, than the cookie crust than the graham mm -hmm. cracker even. So we have that. And what we do is to start... Okay, what do we have here now? Now this is a box of instant French vanilla pudding. Not plain vanilla, but the French, which, the is, French, which, which is more uh, yellow. More right. yellow and a, a lot richer. Okay. And we're simply... You're just going to put them right in there like I'm that. just going to put a cup of grapes or so. Actually, what I'm, I don't even measure sometimes. Just you know, cover the bottom or whatever. Know, that's the thing about a recipe. Mm -hmm. A recipe is nothing more than a framework. See, that's what I like too. I, I think when people follow a recipe, every little detail, they're not expressing themselves in that, are no. they? No, no. They're just doing what so. somebody else thinks. But I that's, always say, no recipe is wrong if that's the way you want it to be. That's, that's is that right? Yes, that's the way I feel. All right, now and what's this? We've now put, we put a cup of whole milk into the vanilla pudding. All right. And simply stir it. Now the original recipe called for orange yogurt. But after to going find, to huh? several shops last night, I couldn't find, find it. Find it, yeah. So tonight we're using, today or rather, we're using lemon. Okay. And this is simply, it can be any kind. You can use the low pina fat. Pina colada. You could use pina, oh, pina colada would be good. That would be nice. I would like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And you just now, simply, my, that's it. Our, our producer, she is a yogurt freak. Uh, she freezes them. Uh, and in the summertime, she's sitting in her desk across from me with a chisel trying to get it out. But when she gets a piece, <laughs> she feels like she's accomplished so uh, much. And it's so cool and so refreshing. Yeah. But but uh, there's a lot of yogurt uh, recipes coming oh, out now. because really are. Especially if you're on a low fat or no fat because you can get them now. Yes. You know. I have salad dressings. All, just sure, so many everything. different things. Okay, that's all you do. That's the it. Milk, the yogurt. Let's go over this again. There's one package of, you have to be instant, instant. not cooked. That's correct. It's instant. French vanilla. French vanilla pudding. Cup, and that's the cup four, of milk. That's the four serving size, right? Mm -hmm. A cup of milk and a, a package of that yogurt, one of those little containers of yogurt. The eight ounces of yogurt. Anything else? And the grapes and the crust. And the grapes and the crust. It's really Boy, hard. It's fast. And people taste this and they think, oh, that's so you good. You work so hard on it. Yes. Huh? <laughs> now you can put, um, well, if you really want to be healthy, you can put the, the light Cool Whip on cool it. Whip on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you can put regular Cool Whip on it. Now, you're not freezing this, right? No, this is just, just refrigerated. Because I was one. thinking if you froze those grapes, it would be hard to get through that uh, yes. the crust. That would not <laughs> A work. A little bit huh? hard. Yeah. A little bit hard. Have you ever made it with the red grapes? No. I've always, used, like. I've always used the green. And then mm -hmm. all you can do, I even let the children do this. Decorate, sure. And they just take the grapes. You're supposed to cover it if you wish. You the whole top of it covered. Do what yeah. you want. We just simply. Now, where would you put the Cool Whip? Would you decorate around with it or uh, something? Probably like in the center, maybe a little edge around, around the edge. it. Uh -huh. Or just when you serve it. How um, long before touch. you serve does this need to be refrigerated? This needs at least a couple hours again. Mm -hmm. because, because if it you has don't, to get cold. It won't, the flavors won't blend. Right. The flavors. And it doesn't set up, what I call set up. Because right. when you cut that, you don't want it all falling apart. You want it That's, to be a nice straight cut. Yes. So it looks nice. Don't you think present, I mean, you've been, you've taught gourmet classes, you've started gourmet uh, schools and stuff. Don't you think presentation is a big part? Yes. It has to wet the appetite of the eye before it wets your natural appetite. Is that right? Yes. And you know what I think too? Um, like a lot of people talk about skimping and saving money. There's a time to do it. Mm -hmm. But I think you need to know your ingredients. Um, I like to think if Jesus were coming to my house for dinner, would I give him something? That's right. You know, less than less the best, huh? Then why can't I serve my family That's the same right. love? That's exactly right. So I agree. I, I absolutely I, it agree. It has to look good. 
And I think when your family knows that you have gone out of your way to prepare something nice for them that's not only tastes good, but it's very pleasing to look at, I think it just makes them kind of come up for the occasion saying, wow, you know, mom made this for me mm -hmm. or dad prepared this. Wow, they must think I'm really important or I'm really special. And they and your kids really are. Your family is special. The best ingredient you can put in any recipe is your love. Love, that's right. I agree with you, Cynthia. That's, that's it. There's our California pie with a little garnish of maybe some Cool Whip or Ready Whip or something like that. Let me show you, too. When we come back, we're going to show you the final products. But here are two quiches that Cynthia brought with her. Tell us about this first one. That one is uh, shrimp and green onions. Shrimp and green onions. Just ice. a can of tiny little shrimp. Okay, and this one? And this one, one is spinach and uh, spinach. mushrooms. Mushrooms. And it's simply you take a package of chopped frozen spinach. Again, make sure it's very dry. dry. And uh, just layer it like we did the mushrooms. And you don't even cook them? You don't cook no. it or anything? No. It's same cheese in both of these? Same cheese, same same amount of eggs and uh, the cream. Yes. What would you do with the spinach? Do you cook the spinach? I mean, I'm sorry, the shrimp. Yeah. The shrimp. No, they're canned. Oh, these the little canned, little canned cooked ones. ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's two other ideas for uh, some quick supper ideas. How about a brunch or just a nice little luncheon? What kind of a salad do you think you would serve with this? A tossed salad or would I you go like, with a... I like tossed greens. Toss greens. I love leaf lettuce, uh, especially red. Oh, do you? And, okay. um, I tell you, when I make things like this at home, I save the raspberry juice and I make vinaigrette dressing. Oh, raspberry vinaigrette, one of my favorites. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this is just some ideas of what you can do with those ready-made pie crust or the ones that you can buy already formed that are kind of like the, the cookie taste or the chocolate ones. This is a nice variety. And we're going to tell you how you can get all of the recipes that you've seen today. We'll be back in just a minute. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right, no subscriptions. They're available online at no cost, and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. Cynthia, this looks wonderful. It does. <laughs> This is, tell us again, now this is the mushroom. That's the mushroom that we made. Okay. It's just hot out of the oven. And again? This one is spinach and mushroom, and this is uh, green onion and shrimp, and that's only a couple tablespoons of onion. Okay. Because people don't want it, it real heavy. It would overpower too much. Mm -hmm. And then we just added a nice little, just a green tomato salad. Very simple, very easy, but this is very complete. Mm -hmm. Then here, tell, that's your California pie. It's California pie with the yogurt and the instant <sighs> pudding, and this is the raspberry cheesecake pie. Now what else, did you do anything I just else? Put some whipped cream on that and uh, the um, raspberries. When I serve it, then I take and I put Hershey syrup on it. I'm ready. Here it is, okay. right here. I'm waiting. We'll see. <laughs> well, we'll hope it'll come out. You know, yeah. my grandmother always said the first piece of pie is the hardest. Uh huh. That's true. But you know what I just read, or someone sent me the hint: if you cut two pieces when you're cutting, cut another piece, and let's All see right. if it works. Whoever sent this hint, let's see if the first one comes out better since you've cut the second one. All right. Because it kind of gives you some uh, room there. We're at Look an at angle. that. That might work, huh? It might work. This oh, has been out of the refrigerator. Yeah. So. And the hot lights here in the mm -hmm. studio, too. So now, what do you that. do with it? And then. <clears throat> Okay. You realize that the calories fall out oh, when you cut goodness. it. Oh, my goodness. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes. We can pray so that they do. That's, huh? There's that. A little bit of. A little bit more whipped cream. Oh, my. And this is called. Raspberry, Raspberry cheesecake, cheesecake pie. pie. Thank yeah. you for being with us today. Oh, well, it's thank been a you pleasure. for having me. You get to come me. back again sometime. Thank you. I would like that. And we're always glad when you're with us because, as I always tell you, it just wouldn't be the same without you here at home. We'll see you the next time. And try one of these pies. I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy it. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Fresh produce provided by Jordan Banana, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Dravosburg, Pennsylvania. Appliances provided by Decor Distinctive Appliances, a reflection of your good taste. Groceries provided by Foodland, where the answer is always yes. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.